We Hello, are. welcome back. Hope Hello. you're well. Hope you are good. Uh, we're Dan and Mike. We're here to help you awesome. with your online fitness business in any way we can, um, if possible. I'm okay. Mike's mic. Mike's Which one? Messing. Down? Yeah. We'll keep yeah. it. He's shouting too loud in his microphone all the time. There you go. He's, he's it's because I fidget a lot. Do you know why I you fidget? Move, yeah. Anxious? No. Um, it's because this table is always close, too close to me. So yeah, no. I have bad knees and my knees really hurt there. When I, So I can't sit in the backs of cars for too long. Uh, okay. So my knees right under there really oh, hurt. Injury, so yeah. you'll see me keep doing these. Football injury, yeah. Yeah, stop me going pro. Stop, um, yeah, yeah, that's what it was. So I, you'll see me do this a lot. Would you want to move the table, around. mate? Would that be easier? I mean, uh, whatever. We've we've done well, we've done three hours now, haven't we? All right. Well, I'm just trying to help, but whatever. Right. You fucking, can't move that anyway. It's too heavy. I yeah. saw you try yeah. to move that. I did it was heavier than you I was, thought. No, I was, I was worried about it rattling and moving, and, and then yeah, I thought okay. about the shot, and I was like, oh, it's going to be annoying. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, um, today we're going to talk about how insignificant you are in the world. Um, we're really harsh with these hooks at the moment, aren't we? These these subjects of these things. But, at um, least at least some of them are hooks, though. Like. Yeah, you know when you say to someone, yeah, you need to be good about your hooks. Oh my God, these oh. hooks that I've been looking through, right? So I've been setting some tasks for some people. So like, again, if you're a client, great. If, you know, if you're not a client, um, can be a client. Um, yeah. But something I've been asking people to do is 30, 30 um, pieces of content with 30 hooks, write them out, um, then I can critique them. And some of the hooks that you see is like, um, uh, it's like, you don't need to run for fat loss. That's not a hook, is it? That's just a statement. Yeah. Like, I let me think of do this one. for fat loss. Um, it's like, um, yeah, it, it's basically like just literally saying exactly what it is. Yeah. I'm like, well, that's not that's not a hook, though, is it? You're it's just the intrigue in there. Yeah. yeah. It, it, instead, it should be, um, um, I don't know. Here's why. Here's why running um, is making you fat, or something along those lines, yeah. right? It's the intrigue of, oh, why would running be making me fat? Mm -hmm. It's not. It's the, the opposite, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's, the, it's, it's the, not a uh, statement. You don't want to yeah. be looking for a statement. So, like, for example, here I would say, you're so insignificant. If this was an email subject line or a video, I'd put, you're so insignificant, and then I'd put in brackets, here's how to use it to your advantage. Right? Someone would go, oh, okay, somewhat interesting, right? Here, yeah, here's how to use it to our advantage. Yeah. Here's, how to, here's why it's not a bad thing or whatever, because usually that would sound like a bad thing, right? But here's why it's a good thing. So we're going to get into that now. Anyway, so the reason I got into this topic and is, is around the whole like thing around coaches with their content and that they're like, oh, I don't want to post it. It's not good enough. Oh, it's not, you know, my, oh, I, don't want it, I don't want to post this. It's perfect. Or oh, what if people judge me? What if people do this? All that sort of stuff, right? So I thought, you know, I'll put, put some numbers to it. Let's, let's talk about numbers in terms of, you know, Instagram and all that sort of stuff and social media. I think it's, it's interesting. But anyway, so I've got some numbers written down. I'm going to read them out and then we're going to talk about why this is useful for you. So did you know that there are 2.35 billion Instagram users in the world? Wow. Uh, you make up, oh, I can't even read those zeros. It's too far away. One, two, zero point zero 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 four three percent of that. That's you. Okay. But how many of those are actually active on any, any given day? That's only 400 million which is 0.0000000025% that you make up of that. Um, and that there are 95 million posts made a day. If you make a post, that's 0.0000011% that day. If you post one post, you are one, you make one piece of content on Instagram of 95 million. Do you think it needs to be perfect? I don't think so. It really is so insignificant. And this is what infuriates me with coaches when they just sit on their hands and they sit on posting content because that's what you're competing with. That is what is out there in the world. And I think that being worried about what other people might think is holding you back from reaching people. And I think when you look at those numbers, you start to realize that the only way you're going to get better is by posting more and competing with those people and competing with those posts. Again, obviously you are competing with them to a certain degree. But the reason that I wrote that email, the reason I think I want to talk about it from this point of view before we worry about how to make things better and that sort of stuff is to realize how much of a tiny part of the world that is. And I think coaches feel like it's such a big thing that they feel like they're going to be, it's like, oh my God, their life's work and get judged so badly on this stuff. And really it's such a small drop in the ocean. It's such a tiny part of, you know, like you say, you post a story, it's forgotten about. People just don't care the next day, not talking about it. People move on. Like, I just, I, yeah, there, there's like so much attachment to each post um, as though it's the most important thing. And it's I so get emotional it. about it. I get it. It comes from care and wanting, again, it, it's, this, it's this whole thing of 
coaches think there's a right or a wrong. Is this right? The, the success of a post, I've said this many a time, is um, well, is it authentic to you? Does it talk to who you want it to talk to? If those if those two things are true, then yeah, that's a good post, whatever. Mm. Like um, we were talking about this, and at the same time, on a members call, and at the same time, I made a post. You probably remember it, where I literally drew two lines on my stories, and then saved it as a post and, and wrote it out as a caption on the post. And it was like literally like um, a squiggly line at the top showing um, business revenue, and then um, straight line underneath it showing what you see if you're employed. And the principle being that you see stability, but you don't know what's going on above you as a business. Now you are a business. You've got to be prepared for the ups and downs. Um, and that took me like 10 seconds. Did it look particularly good? No. Could I have done it on Canva? <laughs> probably not. Um, <laughs> no. Could I have paid someone to do it on Canva? Yeah, probably. Um, could Dan have done it? Yeah. But I could have. But I, I even I could have made it look better. But it didn't need to look better because tomorrow it's gone. And, and that's okay. So... What happens is that people are so emotionally attached to these posts that they've got to be perfect, that they've got to be, you know, that they've got to be right, that it actually stunts them and hinders them. So they will spend five hours trying to film a video. What are you doing? Like, yeah. st stop that. Like, of course your content is going to feel like shit if it's taking you five hours. Of course it's not going to come across right. Of course you're not going to have time for it. Of, of course those things. It's because you're, you're, you're overthinking it. Mm. Posting... I would much rather you post seven times at 70% than three times at 100%. Of course I would. Of course yeah. I would. And also you're going to learn t how to go from that 70% towards 100%. Towards 100%. Yeah. And like the biggest thing for, for us with content creation is that the best way to get better at it is to do it. So like... Not to pretend to do it or, or, or you know, try and design it and never post it because you don't get the feedback. It's the feedback that you need. I see some coaches, right? And um, some of them are clients and stuff. And I'm like, okay, you made... 63 posts in your entire life. I'm like, you've made 63 posts ever. So you've given 63 opportunities for someone to have found your page, basically, for someone to have shared it or whatever, or to have liked it or to have provoked the thought. You've only done that 63 times ever. Like, get, get to 500. Like, do you think that you'll have more or less clients at 500 posts? More. Well, get there quicker then. Race like, there, yeah. Get, yeah. Fucking get there. Don't take it fucking slow. Oh, nothing's coming in. Yeah, nothing will be coming in. But I bet you at 500 it will. Like, out of that next 440, let's just say, they don't need to be perfect. They just need to be there. Yeah. Like, you, you just need to have equity on your page built up, social proof, personality, you know, evidence that you can do your job, you know, <clears throat> opinion. You just need to do that and do that quickly to give 440 additional moments where someone can find your page. Someone can like it, be provoked, provide opinion, banter back and forth. Like 440 additional times. Me and Dan, we, we've posted over 2,000 times. And I'd probably say it's probably close to maybe 3,000 with, you know, hidden and archived stuff and deleted mm -hmm. stuff from the past. 3,000. Yeah. And you break that down and go, okay, there's 365 days in a year. That's it's about nine years of posting every day. Eight or nine years of posting every day, that is. Yeah. Like... And we're still not and, doing and, things 100%. And that's not even all the platforms when you take into account podcasts, YouTube, Facebook previously. There's thousands and thousands of posts there. Mm -hmm. And like, the way you need to think about this as well is like, imagine you were going shopping and you walked past a shop and you could see into the shop and it had five garments in on the rails and that was it. And there was just loads of empty rails there. I bet you wouldn't go in. Now, if that was full... And there was people looking and browsing. You might go in and have a look and see what they've got on offer. It comes back to this whole thing, like you just said there, Mike, is it's, you need to have more about you. You need to have more there for people to look at, for to browse, to make a judgment on you. It comes back to this thing about being judged. People are so scared of being judged and they go, oh, I want to get it right. I want to make sure it's perfect. And you know, I'm going to get judged. You want to be judged. Someone deciding to give you money is them making a judgment on you to go, I think you're good. I'm going to make a judgment to pass you my money to go, I think that's good. Same when you look at clothes, you make a judgment. Do I think I'll look good in this? Most of the time for me, no. <laughs> but do I think I'm going to look good in this? I'm going to pay this money because I believe that this looks good enough for me to pay you the money and I'm going to buy it. It's the same with your coaching to a degree is that people are making a judgment on you. And when you post 500 posts, people make a judgment and go, I've seen enough of this person to go, yeah, I do like them or no, I don't and be okay with that. Because guess what? There's more than enough people in the world. You're very insignificant. There's all these billions of users on Instagram. You want people to go, no, I don't like you. 
when, ultimately, when, that's what you when want. we're looking at the insignificance and just how many people are posting, so like, look at it like this, right? Is that your Instagram profile is just sat there floating in, well, billions amongst billions, right? Um, four hundred active, four hundred million. I think you said active or whatever. Yeah. So you're 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 waiting now. If you're not posting, you're just waiting for someone to find your page. You're in the middle of an ocean, just waiting for a fish to jump in the in a in the in the boat, basically. Like, but every time that you post, you're putting another hook in the water. Mm-hmm. Every time you post, that's one more post. What could pop up on the explore page? And again, you see all these coaches that are going viral. Is it that their content is amazing? Or is it just that they're fucking consistent? They're doing CTAs in it. They're telling people to follow, and eventually it t- it takes off. If they did one of those videos, would they go viral? No. What's making people go viral? An amount of them for four, five, six months of consistent content. And it's that someone finds one of those videos, then goes watches all the others, all of them, and then because they watch all the others, they then get shown to more people as well, and Correct. then they get shown to more people, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And like, like you said, there, just based on those numbers, if you've got four hundred people who are active on Instagram daily. Of those 400 million, 95 million of them are making a post. Yeah. So, so one just, in four. just by making a post, you put yourself in yeah. the top 25%. Yeah. By making a post, regardless if it's good or not. So every day you don't make a post, you're in the bottom of those people. You're not going to get seen. You're not being seen. Like when you start looking at those numbers, you're giving yourself a really poor chance of being found by not posting three or four. <laughs> you know, there's three quarters. You're wasting your, your potential by not posting. I think... When you look at it like that, like you said, you're just flowing along. Like the amount of coaches that I see, oh, I couldn't post, you know, every day this week. Okay, cool, that's fine. You're just further behind then. That other person who's further upstream, to use that analogy now, they're just further upstream than you now. They're just more likely to reach the people where they're, where they're all fishing. Whatever well, you want to say. Yeah, but it, it's, it's true though. It's true though. Like imagine you've put, again, like, I, like, I like to use extreme, uh, extreme scenarios, extreme versions of stuff. Imagine you've only ever made one post. So do you think you're more or less likely to have got clients like than somebody who's made a thousand posts? Less likely. Why is it less likely? Well, because you've only posted once. Okay. So then take that and go, well, then therefore it means that the more that I post, the more likelihood that I'll have had chance to have been seen, spotted, found. So when you talk about the hooks in the water, one post is you put one hook. We've got 3,000 hooks in the water. Do you think there's more chance of catching a fish with 3,000 hooks in the water? Of course there is. Of course there is. Because we've had 3,000 things that have been put out there for somebody to follow, to find, to share, to like, to laugh at, to be provoked by, to be triggered by, to have a discussion over. 3,000 3, times we've, we've done that. 3,000. That's mm-hmm. it. Whereas... So, so when you look at the, the, the opposite ends of the spectrum, you go, well, get to 500 posts as quickly as possible. Get to 1,000 posts as quickly as possible. Like, you know, within reason, you know, I probably won't be posting more than twice a day, three times a day, something like that. Like, yeah. but, but, but my, my point being, again, you can kind of straw man me or you outline with whatever. But my point being, don't post twice a week. Don't post three times a week. Like, so don't be paralyzed and, and hampered or hamstrung by you trying to make everything perfect and and edited and oh, I can't you know I'm just getting a bit of brain freeze you know over this and stuff like that if that's true if that's true have have something in your locker some backup that you can resort to an old post a testimonial you know me and Dan if we're not feeling particularly creative we've probably got 200 more two to three hundred screenshots now of testimonial social proof mm-hmm that we could rely on. So if we're busy, not feeling particularly creative or whatever, that goes up. One of these might go out on, on on Instagram every so often again because of how we've done it. But again, when we're feeling a bit more creative, you'll see us do our caption posts. They don't take too long to do, but it's something that we've done authentic there and then it's probably something that's pissed us off or whatever we've seen. And then same same with the spoof videos, that those are the ones we'll get together and, and edit or I'll watch them, edit them or whatever. Um, creative input. So, yeah. Um, so yeah, my point being is that we all go through mental blocks, but you can't rely on that excuse forever because the longer that it takes you to get to 500 and 1,000, there's other coaches that are getting there quicker. So they're increasing their likelihood that they're, go- they're going to get clients quicker than you. So you're in a race against them. So fucking get there. That's it. Nice short and sweet one, I think, with that one. But um, it's, it's, it really is that, that, that straightforward. I don't want to say simple or easy because it's not. 
if you're sat there with less clients than you would like, the answer likely lies in posting more content. And where under, right, out of those three, like, so let's just say, um, let's just say we've made 500 posts for coaches. Let's just say we've made 500 posts, like, direct to coaches. Do you think that we've made 500 different topics? No. There's probably 10 different topics. Like, so when it comes to creativity, you're going to have to get very, very good at saying the same story in different ways. You, you, have, to, you have to do it. We, we all talk about the same content, as does everybody else, over and over and over again, packaged up differently, different analogies, different things that we spoke to about different people, whatever. It's just the same thing. So when you posted 3,000 times, and again, so let's just say 2,500 of those were about fitness. Outside of why meal plans don't work, carbs, keto, BCAAs, supplements, bad coaching, um, fasted cardio, um, reverse dieting, um, how to set up a training program. Um, Wearing Vibrams. Yeah, taking the mic out of Vibrams, whatever, right? But again, I'm starting to struggle at, at 10, at, at 10 pieces of content, right? So that would last me, what, 10 days? Then what? Just wait for the clients to roll in. Nope. So the same things over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. Just keep doing it. That's all you got to do. There you go. Tip of the day, that one. Um, do you reckon? Yeah. It will be on this day because... Uh, be, yeah, on this day. As in when they're watching it because right. it's only one video. But we've just done five or six. We have done five or six today, to be fair. Um, yeah, there you go. Make it that what you will. Oh, it's got high in it. Yeah. It automatic as well. It just shoots up, doesn't it? Anyway, if you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit like, make sure you subscribe, get even more of these videos. And um, yeah, if you want to join our members group where you get all this sort of advice every single week from us, only we hold you more accountable and uh, we actually give you some extra stuff which we don't give away for free on YouTube. So think about that. Links in the description below. Have Cheers. a good one. Bye. Ta